guys, it's me. Happy Friday. Today, I do not have a lot of, I don't think I have any makeup to show you, except for what Rodeal sent me. I do want to show you those again. I, I showed it on my Instagram, and I wore one of them the other day, and I'm wearing the other one today. So I have that, and I do have those fingernails I was telling you about. I wanted to show those to you. So since I didn't have a lot, you know, in that way, in the makeup or clothes this week, I thought I would show you a few things that I picked up this week for my house. It has been just so much fun. It has been just one of the best things ever in my life is building this house and moving into it. I was thinking this morning how much happier I am and I was thinking, why do I feel that way? Because I always loved my old house that we built. And I think it's because I'm just in a different stage. I'm just not that same person that I was when we built that house. And so I didn't really feel, even though I had a love for it, I didn't feel like it was me anymore. It was me with little kids and, you know, it was just, 20 years ago, so I'm sure you can relate. So I'm just so happy here. We, Tracy and I, she's my designer, we have been just busy, busy, busy. I have ordered so many things and it is really testing my discipline and my patience because everything takes a long time. Like I'm not even ordering the things that say, you know, months and months. I'm ordering things that say, six to eight weeks, you know, things like that. But then what happens is when they get it in their warehouse, then they, you know, notify you somehow. Then you have to get back in touch with them. Then they expedite it or distribute it out to a third party to deliver it. Then you have to wait for them to get it. Then they contact you. Then you have to set up a date. And then I think the day before they deliver something, they call you and give you the time. So a couple of times now, I have been really snookered into thinking I was gonna get something on a certain date, and it it was just a date that it got picked up from the where or the yeah, warehouse. So anyway, bottom line is I'm going to have so many new things to show you. Just this morning, I was talking to Tracy and we were planning out my entryway which you guys have seen what I have there now. Let me turn you around here. I'm using my phone, but you guys have seen that. And I like that and it's very pretty and I like it for now, but it was never a permanent thing. It was kind of like using what I had and just, you know, you, you can't, I would almost rather have an empty space than something I don't want or something that's cheap or just some, I don't want to settle on anything in this house. There are gonna be a lot of things that change. There's gonna be a lot of things that change in my house anyway. I think that's the fun of it is, you know, buying your big expensive statement pieces, but then always switching up what's on your tray, what, you know, mirrors and just different things like that. So I hope that you're into that kind of stuff because I'm really looking forward to just making that like a permanent thing on my channel. So the other day I went, I'd already ordered my table for my casual dining room over here. My mom actually found that for me. And so that, I think everything should be here by Thanksgiving, we're hoping, because I'm gonna have, I want to have everyone over here for like so many different things. Ordered the table, then we wanted to find the chairs, we found them, and I ended up ordering them at a local, like bougie type store. And when I was in there, they just had so much of this stuff, you guys. I hope I can find this brand online because they had like dessert plates, um, espresso cups, just everything. And it was like, I was just looking at the whole table of things and I knew I wanted to get something. So I ended up just getting these set of two small mugs for tea time. And the brand is Yvonne Ellen. And look at these tea mugs. So this one says chow. And I guess, is that a, I was thinking it was a lemur, but it looks like some type of monkey. And then this one, you know, I already love Ooh La La. And just how beautiful are these? 
So um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but I've always told you when you see something you really like, go ahead and grab it. And even if you don't use it, you know, immediately, you will find a place to, to use it. And I think, <laughs> to lose it, I think I'll probably end up using one of those like on a tray with some flowers or something like that. And by the way, I've got this burning now. This candle has been amazing, amazing. So, oh, I just put, I just put one of them out. So I'll go ahead and put it out. But it's the one I showed you a couple weeks ago and the scent is red currant. I went to Home Goods and TJ Maxx yesterday. I also went to, we've got just kind of like a upper furniture store here that actually has a warehouse. At first I thought it was gonna be lower prices, but it's not. It's, they know that they've got something really great by ordering lots of whatever's in stock and having a place for people like me to go and actually buy something and get to bring it home. Yesterday I found two chairs that, I mean, I don't know if I have ever sat in a more comfortable chair than I did yesterday. I, I to me, that isn't even, hasn't ever even really been a big thing, but I just, something made me sit in this chair and I had to have it. So today I'm gonna to go back and get those. I wanted to, they're kind of expensive, so I wanted to think about them and make sure I had a place to put them. That's another way a decorator really helps because I took pictures. She's busy during the day doing her decorating job. So we usually touch base at night. And so I took the pictures and I asked her, you know, where can I put these? I want to find a place to put these chairs. And so she had a great idea. So stuff like that will be coming up. But when I was at TJ Maxx, I saw this blanket, like a throw. Let's see what brand, if it says, Max Studio Decorative Throw. But I just liked it because of the texture. My style is transitional. And that is a mix of like modern pieces, like my our modern fireplace, you know, a modern looking sofa mixed with some traditional pieces, kind of like the gold mirror or, you know, just different things I like like that, like different things that you might have from your parents or, you know what I mean? So it's really, fun. It's fun to mix those two kind of masculine, feminine, and traditional and modern pieces together. And a big part of that is texture. The colors are going to be usually more muted, but the texture really makes a difference. So I grabbed this. I actually got another one that I really love. It's Rachel Zoe, and I got it to go on my little settee bench at the end of my bed and I've got it just like I want it. It's got big tassels on it, and I'm gonna put a picture right here because I don't wanna move it. It took me all night last night to get it just how I wanted it. So I, you know I love tassels, and when I saw that, I just thought, oh my gosh, it's my, it's, it was definitely my favorite of the two blankets. So, oh my goodness, these are so heavy. These I kind of second guessed over and over because I don't really know where I'm gonna put them, but they're two solid, marble candle holders. And what I loved about them is that they can hold pillar candles or the taper candles. This is a silly reason, but they were inexpensive. Let's see, one was like, oh yeah, one is $16.99 and this one is $12.99. So they're not, you know what I mean? I feel like I can kind of experiment with them. What I wanna do is I always see people burning their funky taper candles. You know how like at Etsy now, you can get so many different variations. And I always think, gosh, doesn't that make a mess? Well, now I've got this to catch the wax as it's burning. So that's just something I wanted to do. That was the reason I grabbed these and they go with like my countertops. This is something else I have been waiting on forever. And it's just kind of like something fun with a little punch of color. And it is from Bobble Bar. Matter of fact, I ordered this when I ordered these, which I have been loving so much. One of my all time, all time best purchases. This came in this little bobble bar thing, but it's a throw and you get to pick your letter. So of course I picked L and I think, 
trying to think if each letter was a different color or if you got to pick the color. I can't remember, but I like this. It's kind of like a little nod to the Hermes throw, which I really wanted to get, but I have no Hermes connection, none. And it's a great size. It's almost the size of a, like a scarf or a poncho. It's not as big as like those are. And so it's gonna be very easy to throw over. Like say you just want a little something in your entryway over your little ottoman underneath your table, or you wanted something at the end of your bed, or you wanted something just to throw over a chair, just a fun little piece. I think this would be great. And I, I do love those colors. Now let's get down to some makeup and some fingernails. I love these and I, I am gonna try them and I want to, but this is something you have to be mentally prepared for. I have to make sure that I'm not gonna mind having nails on because it's a big difference from what I've got now and to have the patience to sit down and do it. But I really want to, cause I love these so much, but they're called Finger Suit Press On Nails. 40 nails, two prep pads, one nail file, one wooden stick. And I chose these colors. This is just, I think all of them are the coffin shape. These are just a nice kind of, they're pink, but they're almost like an iridescent pink. Let me show you the ones. These are the ones that Samantha Sherman had on her Instagram that one of you sweethearts sent me. And then Brooke was there when I was choosing them. And we chose like this. This reminds me of like Camila Coelho, something she would have, just a fun, colorful set. And then look at these with the blue and green. So they're definitely gonna be fun. And I'm looking forward to trying them. I just need to get geared up for that. It has, that's gonna be like a moment there. Rodeal, oh my gosh. I was thinking when I put these on and I loved them so much, how much I love the bronze drops and how much I love the Chanel bronzer that I got, the dark one. I have not missed a day. I have not used another bronzer since I bought that bronzer. I could just give them all away. But if you wanted something that gave that effect as that bronzer does, as far as like melting in your skin, that rhodial bronze drops, it does it, but it does it in a rosier way. It's not as bronzy. So it's a little bit, I wouldn't say harder to use, it's just different. I've been using these today. I actually have on, I've got this light, uh, my tripod has a ring light. I've got these, I've got the pink ones on. The other day I had on these. And I also have on the primer she sent me, which is the glass primer. Now when I heard glass primer, I thought smoothing, but it's not. It's more of a glow type primer but when you put it on, it does dry down. It's not an oily, but look at how much glow it gives. I mean, even when I'm not in front of the light, and this is Estee Lauder Double Wear. I've got like some, see where my nose is peeling, and I've still got, is it right there? Yeah, I've still got a spot right there that's peeling from my Obagi. And I think it's down to the, almost the bottom layer of skin now. What I wanted to say is if you are someone with dry skin, aging skin, you are going to love not only these drops, and the way I use them is, I have used it, I have actually used them both ways. I have done like dots on my cheeks and then like just blended it in, but today I did this. I put it on my hand. It really works as a blush and a highlighter. But see how beautiful that is? It makes your cheeks look so full and just voluminous and bouncy. This one is the Sunset Kiss. And let me go ahead and um, swatch the pink one that I'm wearing today. They both give the same amount of shine. I would say Sunset Kiss is gonna be more warm and of course the pink is gonna be more, you know, neutral or not, I hate to say icy, but both just beautiful, beautiful. And even though it doesn't look like that's a lot of color, hold on, like this freaks me out. I noticed, let me see if I can do this the right way. I noticed when I wiped it off this morning, 
See how that's the pink and then that's the more orangey or warm tone. So the color is there. It just really blends in and blends out. So thank you to Rodeo for sending those to me. I'm so excited and I love them. I've gotten so into the, like with the cream bronzer and the cream blushes lately, I have gotten to where I can, and then I have on today, I have on my eyeliner, not eyeliner, um, eyeshadow stick and my lipstick and my lip liner that will be coming out soon. We have had, with the pandemic going on, we have had some uh, snafus here and there in the orders and just getting everything prepared, but it should be just a couple of weeks and I'm so excited. It's gonna be something that everyone loves. Everyone, everyone. Even if you don't like a light lip like this, I've got another way to do it that's just awesome. So anyway, from using this and then using the creams, I have only been using two brushes. The one that I use for the Chanel bronzer and the brush that I use for my brows, and that's it. I haven't been using any brushes for my, you know, blush or highlighter or, you know, no powder. Gosh, what else? I, no eyeshadow because I've been using my eyeshadow stick. Or I, I will take the small end of that IT double-ended brush and I will use the Chanel bronzer for my eyeshadow. It's been awesome. This I wasn't really planning on doing until this morning. But we were talking about shapewear last week and I am doing a collaboration with Honey Love. You might have seen Samantha Sherman doing a video with Honey Love before and they approached me about some, I think the power shorts or something and I said, no, I'm really, I know I'm not gonna wear the power shorts but I love bras, bralettes, I love bodysuits, I love, tank tops, all that stuff, can we do something like that? And that is what they sent me. They just sent me a great package, and I wanted to show you this box. I thought it was so pretty. I'm definitely gonna try these on for you. Today is just kind of like an introduction, but I thought with things like this, I actually need to wear them. And that way I can tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, which ones are my favorite. I feel like if I just unbox it and try it on, I can give you that initial reaction, but I think with stuff like this, you have to wear it. And I am going to start wearing these things. So if you follow me on Instagram, you might see me wearing like some of the bodysuits and tank tops with jeans, which is my thing now. And then in a week or two, I will do a full try on. There's one thing in here that is so, that I have never ever in my life tried on and never ordered or never had, never thought of. So that'll be interesting, so I'll be right back. So I got the receipt so I can kind of, um, oh, okay, each thing is gonna tell me. This one is the first one that I opened up and it is the Liftwear Silhouette Bra. Adjustable lift, wire-free support, which I love. Thin convertible straps, which I love. Flexible side boning, love, and removable cups, love. Okay, so this I thought was really pretty. And you guys know I sleep in a bra. And so it is, I love when I have worn something like this and I can just either keep it on or put it right back on. And that is actually pretty. And the thin straps are important to me because A, they look better with a nightgown or look better with anything. And B, if I wear a cami or a tank or something, I just think these look so much better. The lift wear tank. I don't know, I have to see if this is something that I can wear under a blazer. I think you could. And then all of these things are true undergarments. So it's gonna be lifting and smoothing, underwire, free lit, under, Underwire free lift, like I was talking about, that in some bodysuits, even if they're snug on me, it still doesn't keep you lifted. And even if I don't care about the lift, I just don't want my boobs like going around, you know what I mean? All over smoothing and removable cups. So this will be interesting and I will remove all the cups, but I remember the days that I did not. So I know that those are Appreciate it. Okay, what is this? Body sculpt tank. Oh my goodness. 
Oh, I love this. It has that corset look. Okay, step into me. That is so important in most all bodysuits and shapewear. If you will step into it, it's amazing the lift that you'll get. And it just, everything, we want everything going up. If you pull things like this over, it's just not the same. It just pushes it all down. So yes, definitely step into me. And this has like some boning and everything. So let's see what this one says. Sculpted and stylish, it is. It definitely gives you that. It's reminded me of Bethany Frankel for some reason. I don't know if she wore something like that. A sexy design, super sculpting, extreme posture support. I think I might need that. So yes, looking forward to that too. And that really looks nice. Really looks nice. Is the Liftwear Cami Bodysuit. You guys know how I feel about these. Love it, love it, love it. Thought about wearing one of these today, but I wanted to kind of do this. I wanted to see how we felt. Looks like these come undone. I wonder if it'll crisscross. Let's see what it says. Smooth and lifted, one piece construction, adjustable straps, stays tucked in, of course. Let's see, how to style with high-waisted jeans, maxi skirts, wrap dresses, high-rise shorts. That's the thing is, it doesn't matter. I mean, I think it was Nicole Kidman. Was it? No, or it might've been uh, Gwyneth Paltrow said, it doesn't matter how thin you are, your clothes always look better if you have some type of shapewear on, something underneath. You not, guys know how I've always loved slips, I've always loved lingerie, period. But your clothes, I think you feel better and your clothes look better when you have like some shapewear on. This is the Liftwear V-neck bra, size medium. Perfect. Perfect, this is just a good everyday, underneath your sweatshirt, underneath your sweater, sleeping. I could probably almost exercise or walk or whatever in that. So this is just a good go-to wear everyday, underneath your t-shirts, sweaters, sweatshirts, bra. And then so. this is something I have never ever tried ever. It's a Waist Hero Cincher in size medium. Oh gosh, and it comes in a little carrying case. Okay, this is something like when you go to, I think about this, like when I went to the Monate Awards and I knew they let you know beforehand if you're gonna get an award and you're gonna have to go on stage. And I knew that I was, and that I did win an award. And that was the height. If I can find any pictures, I'll put them in here. I wore, some shapewear, let me tell you. I did not feel good. That was at the height of my menopause, IBS, struggle, breakdown. I, I just remember that feeling, you guys, it was terrible. But I ended up pulling it out, but that is something like I think of, I would have loved to have had something like this because I was so self-conscious. I have never, ever tried anything like this. So zip slowly. Holds zipper away from skin. Thank you. Waist Hero Center. Powerful waist sculpting. Zipper for easy on and off. Thank you. That would have been a lot of little snaps. Surprisingly comfortable. Posture support. Yes, I could use that. And even think about when you're at a special occasion. That is when your posture is probably the most important because you are presenting yourself you know, even at a meeting or something like that. And they say there is true biological, chemical results by doing like power pose and things like smiling. That's why they say smile in the mirror. I haven't done that yet. So looking forward to trying this. Let me see if it says anything else. Um, of course, it gives us some directions, good. Bottom back, bottom front. Good, because I am new at this and this will be very, very, very interesting. So what I'll do is show you each thing on and then I'll probably pick a couple of dresses or something or maybe even jeans. I wanna keep it 
every day like I am. I want it to be something that I would like I do, like I really wear. So thank you so much to Honey Love for sending these things to me. Um, this video is not sponsored in any way. Um, they did send this to me. I've got a new top on by Skims. It's kind of like a sweatery tank. I've got on some of my favorite, favorite jeans. I don't know if I can get up here. I'm not gonna try. But they are the Mother Denim Tomcat jeans. And Oliver, where I got these, still has these exact jeans. And I have a code, Lisa10, for 10% off. And my watch, you've probably already seen my earrings. These are the Dean Davidson Morganite and his Morganite ring, the castle ring. That is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this hodgepodge of things here. I'm just, I don't, one day I wanna go into how, what you wear and your makeup, even if that's not your focus. Like right now my focus has kind of been home things, but yet what I'm wearing and my makeup and how I look is still very important to that. I think it's just your whole identity, but we'll talk about that later. And then next week, something I wanna to talk to you about and talk with you about is why we should really not care what other, and I'm gonna say this, but I don't mean it, why we shouldn't care what other people think. And I'm not, I don't mean just in the trite, form of that, I mean the true reason that we really, you know, we ask people, what do you think? What do you think I, like even when you take a friend to go try on clothes with you, why you shouldn't depend on that friend's opinion? And that kind of goes into home decor and it's it's a lot of different things. And I, I was listening to a, I think he's a psychologist and he was giving the true psychological reason that that should not matter to you and it really should not even play a part in your decision. And when he told me, it just, I mean, it was just like, fell, everything fell into place and I've just never looked back. So I can't wait to talk about that with you and I want you to have a great weekend and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.